Welcome back to the Cerebral Palsy Sport YouTube channel. Today I'm delighted to be joined by England Football CP Captain Matt Crossan. Matt, thanks a lot for joining us. Would you just like to start by introducing yourself? Uh, lovely to be here. I'm Matt Crossan. I'm the England Cerebral Palsy Captain. Uh, yeah, about as good as it gets. <laughs> um, so just getting it straight in it really where did you grow up and how did you first get into CP football um, I listened to a few interviews last night from you uh, is it right that you played Northern League football before you got into CP football yeah so I, I started playing football you know, like TGFA and obviously the junior grassroots and then I played non-league uh, for Mass United and then from there um, sort of just progressed through the league and um yeah uh, unfortunately suffered a stroke towards mm -hmm. the back end of the season um right. November it was uh, yeah suffered a, suffered a stroke which put all my left side out of uh, out of use really and paralyzed me mm -hmm. so how quick did you get into CP football after that happening um it was quite quick to be honest because mm -hmm. what happened was I um I received a call while I was shopping um, from Jeff Davis, who was the head of the F, uh, the FA Power of Talent uh, program at the time, and mm -hmm. he said that it was. Uh, he told me it was England, and they'd like they'd like to send someone down to have a look at me, and then come for a trial. And obviously, you are joking on you, and you think, oh, he's mm -hmm. one of one of the lads is on the wind up here. So, yeah. yeah, so that's how I got into it. It was it was probably I'd say I suffered my stroke in November, uh, twenty two thousand thirteen, and it mm -hmm. was probably. Beginning of 2014, I received the call, and then from there got my truck. Got ASO was the fitness um, lead. He came down had a look at me, um, mm. and then it was middle of maybe uh, yeah maybe maybe back end of uh, 2014. I trained, started training. It was a pretty quick turnaround, wasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah very. So, did you try any different sports as a child, or after your stroke, or was football always a sport for you that you wanted to pursue a professional career in? Yeah, but uh, well, I, I always had like a, key, a, a keen eye in boxing and stuff like that, but um, mm. and like martial arts and stuff. But no, football was the football was always the one. Always the one. Yeah. Um. So, for anyone watching that hasn't seen CP football before, could you just explain the rules of CP football? Um, yeah. How many from each team, size of the goals, and stuff like that. Yeah, so the guy, the, the goals are you'll see the the uh, traditional seven aside goals, um, which mm -hmm. are quite big to be honest when you're looking at them. Um, yeah. um, considering I miss half the time, um, <laughs> your pitch is usually in by the six yard the six yard box. Mm -hmm. um, there's no offsides at all, um, so mm -hmm. that's how the, the fitness wise gets you because you don't get a risk when the balls up when the balls are over the top for an offside. You don't get that rest anymore. Throwings yeah. they can be rolled in. Or over the traditional throwing. Obviously, there's only seven players on the pitch, made up yeah. of a, a classification system from one, two, and three. But now they're just changing it, so it's going to be one, one point five, two, two point five, three. Right. Um. So you can have as many as you want on the pitch, but I think it's going to be a rounded number that it's got a week. Will your team? So it could be twelve yeah, or fourteen, yeah. um, right. or maybe fifteen, maybe that you've got to have that certain amount of players. Um. Uh. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, yeah, seven aside. The goals, I can't really think of anything else that's majorly different. Um, oh, it's a 60-minute game compared to your traditional 90 minutes. Um, half an hour each side. Uh, so it sounds a little bit easier with the time, but it's yeah. not because you're losing the offsides. And it's just, it's it's a game of fitness, that's all it is. I was going to say, how did you find that transition from playing 11 aside to then playing 7 aside? It sounds like a lot faster sport, and like you say, you don't get that rest time day of throw ins and offsides. Yeah, I mean, the, the offsides got me at first, but I mean, mm. I play mainstream now. Um, and obviously, I'm still with England, so it's uh, you just get used to it. It's just that you're only you're there to play football, so you, you pick it up straight away. If, if it's on a pitch, I'm if it's if it's on a pitch, I'm clever, but if it's off the pitch, I'm thinking, oh my god. So, yeah. yeah. So the England CP team recently finished runners up at the IF CPF European Championships. Um, congratulations on that from everyone connected to the CP sport community. I think it was an amazing run and certainly inspired a lot of, of our community to want to take part in the sport. We've had lots of feedback since of people wanting to get involved in the sport, which is great. Um, although it wasn't the medal that you 
in the team initially set out for, you still must have been proud of the run and the team to win four games and reach a final of a major tournament. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean we had our, we always had a secret within us, within our our squad between yeah. staff and the players. We always had this belief that we minimum we want is a semi final. Um, mm-hmm. And obviously, when it got to, got to Ireland, we thought, yeah, we were just getting going. I mean, we never got going all tournament, to be quite honest. Um, mm-hmm. It felt like we had so much more, but it is it is what it is. That's tournament football for you. Um, but yeah, the main thing, it, we're not happy with the, the run, runners-up, but we made history. Mm-hmm. That's the biggest thing for us, because now, I mean, you said it yourself, you've had people interested. I've had a lot of people message me about getting into the cerebral palsy spot. People who've been yeah. ashamed of having cerebral palsy or had in, brain injuries in the past. Um mm-hmm. I've started to get in touch with me and saying, how do we get involved? Ex-players who had to have a little bit of time out for, because obviously the fitness side of things was affecting them or um, yeah. through injuries are all dying to get back into the sport because they want to be part of obviously what we created inside, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Just sticking with in for a minute, um, I know it's a squad had a lot of young players in it and do you feel with that experience behind them that the team can develop and win a major tournament in the future? Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, we've, we're blessed with young talent. Um mm. Jaden Kenyon um, came on for his first tournament, uh, Manchester lad. Uh, absolutely yeah. superb, he was brilliant. Yeah. Um, you've got Kev, I call him Dave Porter up top. He's only 20, 24, 25. So, you know, it's just, it's frightening how good he will be. He'll be one of the world's best um, mm. next tournament, without a doubt. I mean, he's putting him away for fun now at the minute. Um, but he's just a great personality to have. Obviously, Harry Baker's been in the set for years. Mason yeah. Dunbar, he's a brand new player. Um, Go yeah, keep Sam Jewers, there's loads, mate. Honestly, there's absolutely loads of lads that are um, coming through. Obviously, Harry's only young, but it feels mm. like he's been around for years. But yeah, they're, they're all quality players, really, really, really top quality players. Um, so yeah, the future's the future's bright for England, Sarah Paul Palsy wise, absolutely. What does it mean to you to be the England captain and sort of represent CP football in national stage and be the ambassador, of sort of? inspiring people to be getting into sport and football um with having cp oh it's huge it's huge it's a it's it's inspiring for me and i know it is for the other lads because we aren't just doing it for ourselves sort of thing we're doing it for everybody who wants to get involved with cerebral palsy football people with disabilities that's what we're doing it for we want Mm -hmm. we're not just going to competitions and demanding the best from ourselves as a standard we're wanting it because we want players to feel comfortable playing the football that, or playing the sport that they want to play regardless yeah. and we're just just proving that you know it's, it's achievable and yeah i can't i can't describe everybody's asked me what it's like but i'll never be able to describe oh, the feeling of captain in your country it's yeah it's, someone, it's, it's, it's sorry you go no it's, it's all right i was just going to say someone who's said, said to me it's Less than one percent of the of the population get to play for England, and even less than that get to captain the country. So yeah, that, that's when it hit home for me. Yeah, you see the togetherness, even just on social media that we were following of all the players posts and like team photos and sharing like positive messages. So that was a, a massive point for us. And I think disability sports grown in itself in terms of um, Commonwealth Games and FA Disability Cup being connected with BT Sport now, and the Paralympics getting shown on Channel Four. So. Again, being in the cup and how far, um, how good is it for you to see disabled sport growing and be more recognised in the national stage, not just football, but all international disabled sports now? Yeah, uh, it's it's brilliant, obviously. Um, we coming at it from a, a football inside of things, but yeah, to see para sports, I mean, when we went to the Paralympics, it was, it was frightening to see other uh, athletes, Paralympic mm. athletes and how they managed day to day. It was just, you couldn't take your eyes off them, not in a horrible way, but you were just amazed at some of the stuff they did yeah. and how mm. they've achieved it. And st- to be the best of the, their, their category and the best in the world, that stuff, you think, whoa, hats off to them. But yeah, um, yeah, it's fantastic. It just needs to keep, just because our, our tournament's finished, the foot doesn't be, need to be taken off the pedal. It needs to be kept there. And if not squeezed a little bit more, because we need to go that little bit extra um and push it as far as we can like we did with the lionesses on the football terms of things they yeah. were they were similar to ourselves and then look at them now they're a big global global brand and recognizable and that's what we want from every power athlete just to be recognized and uh, yeah and it, just just for the for the sport to grow and obviously bt have jumped on board with the fa disability cup as well which is uh 
which is huge, massive in football terms. So some moving on to a more domestic level, um, some professional clubs that I'm sure you're aware of have developed CP teams, uh, Chelsea, Norwich, Brighton, West Brom. Would you like to see more clubs do this and offer people with CP an opportunity to play football? Because I think that's important in the sense that, you know, you've seen you're getting messages and lots of the players are following the success at the, at the European Championships, but it's about having those opportunities to go out and train, isn't it? And um, be a part of a team and, and learn to play football, I guess. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I would love, I'd love the Premier League clubs as as sort of, a, and the Championship, League One and League Two maybe as well, um, to start the ball rolling with that. Because once it, once one club does it, it should really mm. spread spread like wildfire, and people should get involved with it. Because obviously, the power athletes, people who want to get into the sport as well, should be given a a chance to chance, do it, even yeah. if it's grassroots level. It is growing grassroots, um, mm. and there is that. But it takes it takes a bigger catchment if you, your local professional club do it and it's more of a more of a big thing if they do it and you can sort of promote it that way and it's it's ideal if they do it because they do it they're doing all the hard work by just sending a tweet out saying we've got trials for our club blah 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 yeah. you know what i mean it's huge mm. it's good it, it, it's really good that they're doing that and it's uh i think it's only going to get better as i'm going to start ramping up turning like ramping down my my career sort of thing. I think it'll it'll boom, and obviously the lads mm. coming through the future, they'll uh, they'll they'll reap the rewards of that. So CP Sport at the moment, we're working to deliver regional hubs across England. Um, we're partnering with clubs, teams, other disabled sports charities to put on playing, training, and coaching opportunities for people with CP. Um, do you think this will help grow disabled sport and encourage people to be physically active as well? Yeah, of course it will. Yeah, it's just. The more promotion that you can do and the more the more activities that they can do it people people love sport people love being outdoors regardless of what sport it is if they're passionate about it they'll want to do it regardless and it's just the hardest thing is the first step getting into a club or finding somewhere that they can go once they know that that's there that's it that they'll be happy and it'll mm. become become like a second home sort of thing so they can constantly go and visit and play and train or whatever they need to do yeah, yeah, if there's people out there watching, if there's people out there watching this interview or watch one of your matches at the European Championships and thinking about CP football ago, what would you like to say to them now? Do it. Get online to the England Football Hub uh, Talent Hub. Um, yeah. The football your way. It should come up with different areas and catchments where you can find any of the clubs. And if there isn't one, get in touch with it with. I mean, you can obviously message myself or you can message um, someone at the FA. I'm sure there'll be information on there to find them. But do it. It'll be the best thing you can do. And it'll start your little adventure like it did with me. And it, it did with many of the lads in the squad. Just on the off chance, right. they just played regional. Got in touch with some of the some of the regional teams. That are, I know there's regionals for every every region in the UK. So, yeah, it's... Um, it's massive and it'll start your little adventure off and hopefully it'll be more successful than mine. It could be playing for England one day, you never know, do you? Absolutely, yeah. Um, and just finally, where are you watching the Disability Cup from next weekend? And, and just before you answer, I'll, it's Saturday the 25th and 26th of June. Uh, tickets are available, so I'll leave a link in the description if anyone wants to go along. And it's also live on BT Sport. There's six finals and what will be a fantastic weekend. So where will you be watching it, Matt? Uh, I'm actually pundit for the CP game, so right. with the BT. So um, yeah, I'll be I'll be at the game. Um, I'll be there Saturday as well because I think they're partially sighted to play on the Saturday, um, and there's a yeah. few games there as well. Um, so I'll be down. I'm down early Saturday because I've got some stuff to do there around them games, and then obviously there for the the CP final because it's Norwich between North East and Yorkshire, isn't it? So yeah, um, local yeah. side, no bias from me, but yeah. <laughs> It'll be good. It's always they're always fantastic finals, and you get to see and meet loads of different people. And it's nice. It just yeah. it just brings everything home, really. Yeah, it should be a fantastic weekend. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for joining us, Matt. I say the recent tournament and the success at European Championships has certainly opened a lot of doors for us as well. So just keep on inspiring people, I guess, to to get into disabled sport. And thanks a lot for joining us today. No problem at all. We'll keep trying it. We'll keep trying to inspire. Thanks a lot.